Oh God. <laughs>
And then after I leave here, I gotta go to Brackenridge, buy a weekly inspection there. All right, I'm up here at Brackenridge. Uh, I'm just gonna take a few pictures inside, outside. You know the deal. After this, I gotta go back to the office. Um, I have a couple meetings today, one at 12 and one at 5.30, so I'm gonna squeeze some things in in between those. So it was a pretty place up here though. Man, it's 7.30, I just left the office. Got two showings tomorrow and one on Thursday. Also had a meeting with a guy that I've been trying to get to come to the office. I'm hopeful that he'll come. He's somebody that calls me about my foreclosures all the time. I think he'd be really, really great at the office. And we're trying to expand, man. I mean, hell, matter of fact, if you're a real estate agent in the state of Alabama, or maybe not even the state of Alabama. Maybe you want to be somewhere else. Give me a call. Just give me a call. Let's discuss it. Maybe we can figure something out. Especially if you want to sell foreclosures. Other than that, man, I'm going to the house. Uh, like I said, it's 7.30 at night. I'm tired. I've been, I got to the office at 7 o'clock this morning, so. What up? Happy Wednesday morning. I'm headed to the office. Tell you what happened yesterday. I had a meet, couple of meetings yesterday. Some people that might be moving to the office, moving their glasses to the office, so that's good. I got a call, so Lee has a listing down in Heflin. I got a call yesterday, guy wants to see it. So I'm gonna be down there at 9 a.m. to show him that house. I think it's a little overpriced, uh, but we just gonna have to see. Decent house, it's just a little overpriced. After that, I got my other client, he called me yesterday about a house in Weaver. I have a three o'clock showing with him. So yeah, that's what my day's consisting of at this point. Also, I gotta finish up some editing. Hell, I always say that shit. I've always got editing. I've probably got three videos right now that I need to edit. Ugh. The bane of my existence. I wish I could just film this shit. Somebody else can do the editing. Yeah, it's a I just got to this house. Look, Lee don't even put his name rider on his <laughs> signs no more. He don't want nobody calling his ass about, about no house. So here it is. Let's see. Well, <laughs> a bit of a hole. I'm pretty sure he didn't mention that. <laughs> What's up with everything having wavy floors these days? I don't know what that is, but. This is the laundry room, too. Not a bad house, it's got some definite problems with the floors. I don't know if you can. See that or not, but it's really well, anyways, whatever, not my problem. So, uh, I'm a little early, but my client should be here in a minute, and uh, maybe he loves it. Yeah, so that that show went pretty bad. He saw the, saw the place right there on the side of the house, he didn't care about nothing else after that. Which I understand some people don't want to fix stuff like that. Uh, it wouldn't be that hard to fix, but it wouldn't be easy either. So uh, now I'm going to give me a tire. I hit a curb the other day and, well, busted the shit out of my tire. So now I need a new one. So yeah. <laughs> busted the shit out of my tire the other day. <laughs> now I need a new one. All uh, right, we're leaving the office here. We're finna go. Daddy Rabbit back here. I'm gonna go to Piedmont to has them. See if they started doing any work yet. Probably haven't, but gotta go check. All right, so I just got through the Haslam. We took a few pictures. Really just checking to make sure ain't nobody starting no work. They have not, so uh, just a quick asset inspection and then we out of here. Probably just one of them ain't got it. Uh, it didn't say none of the parts houses, but 
that blasters uh it says I don't have the blaster so I'm not up here by Brackenridge. I got a show in at three o'clock. Show to one of my investor clients and right up through there is Brackenridge. That's where it goes. Stains a little bitty turd. Uh, it might be nice. I'm peeking out of turn. All right, I'm just leaving this showing, actually. My client, he's still back there. He's really interested in the house, so maybe he'll make an offer. It's not an expensive house, but... What up? It's Thursday morning, so today's a little different. We're going to be going... It's like an hour and a half. The video we did a couple weeks back when we rode the motorcycles down to check on this house, well... The eviction is today, so that's where we're headed. I got Dad, Jake in front of me. Miss Kelly's right there. I haven't even made her mad yet this morning, so we're, we're off to a good start. <laughs> I've got to stop by Home Depot because Jake's bougie and he needs some Gorilla Grip gloves, which, whatever. So I'm gonna grab them. We got like an hour and a half drive to get down there. Police are supposed to be meeting us down there. I don't know if they're gonna have inmates with them or not. Well, I hadn't done one in this county before, so this one's a long way away. So yeah. Hey oh yeah boys, it's time to party. <laughs> yeah. We can't even go inside, can we? Well, I don't think we can go inside room. Let's see what we gotta do. Yeah. Oh yeah, this ain't a nice here. Look, man, I went to the. Why are you the, jumping over a mall? I thought it was a bee. Yeah. <laughs> I went in there. I go to the back. I can't find the gorilla grip gloves that you sent me. So I'm like, well, these will work. So I pick up some Milwaukee's. There's 12 of them. I can't what be that much. I, I get up to the front. And they ring up. They're fifty dollars. I'm like, oh no, no, no. These ain't gonna work. She said, we got some over there. There were those were ten bucks. 15 of them. Oh, heck, man, this ain't even the right one. What's your mean ain't the right one? Yeah, well, it's it's like the, the, the so now you're worried yeah. about... That dirty, he's too far out. I don't know if he can't park. There's another one. What do you want me to do with it? Pull it right there? You didn't have to yell. You didn't have to yell at it. <laughs> Rare footage of him doing something there. Look at that. Bring that out to see it. Look at that old cell phone. Oh. Weighs ten thousand pounds. Radio shack. Jesus. <laughs> Ain't you like we're mad at the sheriff's office? Yep. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, old Ray over there. I'm gonna say those were all It still works. Yeah, that's cool. What is it? It's a rail but This is a bag. It's all, all this shit's got to come out of here too, man. It's not much fun. Probably something be living in here. Yeah, all this stuff gotta come out of here too. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. Really, really sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, he was in a nest in there.
Hey, we're running low on trash bags. I mean, this is all we got left. I brought two of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is cool. What's wrong? That's a lie. Yeah. Keep that in the trunk when you get your boo boo. Did you tell I throw them away? Yeah. Who threw the billy bear away? I wouldn't have thrown that away. I know it's going to do Oh, hell, that's my damn glove. <laughs> What's he trying to do? Keep yeah. something? What do you say? Keep this. Keep this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like the one he wanted from the garage. Somebody needs to bring that, that, them carpets so I put the cars on. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He was just chilling in there a while ago. Now he's distraught. He lost his home. Oh. Hell yeah. He don't give a damn if he thought falls there or not. Jump up and down. <laughs> What's in there? Come on. <laughs> Look at that fancy birdhouse right there. <laughs> I think that's what we're doing. I thought we were bulldozing this bastard. Well, so you can throw it out the door. That's that's Jake standing in the door. I'll be honest, I feel like we should have thrown everything out this door. Well, then we wouldn't be next to the... Then we wouldn't be next to the things there. Well, we finally finished with the... Uh trash out which did take us that long about an hour and a half drive down there though so that wasn't fun anyways that's done they'll move forward with that process now fannie made foreclosures so they'll do a lot of repairs on it look at this i'm headed right into the, to the storm i think oh <laughs> the shit just hit the fan on bacon avenue Long story short, the buyers had a, a little bit of a problem with the divorce decree and the, their old house that she had with her ex-husband. Long story, whatever, we were supposed to close at 10 o'clock in the morning. We are not closing at 10 o'clock in the morning now. What up, it's Friday. Get into the office, check this out. So my client yesterday, I showed him the house first ones didn't like it. I knew they wouldn't. My other guy, he came back, brought some family, cousins, I think. They liked the house. Bacon Avenue. Last night, there was a problem, or yesterday evening, there was a problem. So, I'm gonna summarize this the best I can and try to explain it. So, the buyers of Bacon Avenue, the, the new buyers of Bacon Avenue, at some point in time, got a divorce with their husband, and in that divorce, the husband was awarded the house. It had a $30,000 lien still on it. 
Fast forward, she's buying bacon now. They knew about this. It shows on her credit, but since it was awarded to her husband, she's not responsible for that anymore. Right there at the, clo at the finish line, and they use a divorce decree to show proof that it was the husband's responsibility, and someone discovers that the husband isn't now or was never on anything to do with that house. So that means that legally speaking, he cannot be, he could not be awarded that house. That means she is still responsible for the $30,000 mortgage that's left on the house. Right? Right. So that kills the deal, right? Well, I mean, obviously they gotta fix that problem. It didn't kill it completely, but it put a major speed bump in it. My client called me after we talked, uh, he called me and was like, hey man, what if we do it this way? So I tell you what we did or what we're trying to do. So we're gonna, we're gonna debit the seller at closing and pay that house off. Basically, basically my sellers are gonna become the lien holder. They're gonna pay off the loan and become the lien holder of said house. The husband is gonna pay them, da 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 da, da. So now I just gotta work out the uh, details on that supposed to be speaking with the lawyers today but hopefully that won't be no problem all right so i'm just now leaving the post office had to do the had to send a certified letter for the posting store it's just a legality thing we know nobody lives there it'll be returned but it has to be you have to be notified now i am headed to talladega i have to swing by and do a take a few pictures of one of my houses down there but then after that I'm going to the house that I just sent that letter to to post a uh, document on the on the window son of a bitch I ain't got no tape shit so somewhere along the line I'm about to stop and get some damn tape cause I didn't bring any tape just, just stop got some of the best strawberries 20 bucks for a ba basket of them oh 15 you go pick them yourself i didn't pick them myself i ain't got time for that so 20 it is Alright, so I got all that stuff done, that was posted, I got my pictures I need, the asset inspection I needed to do, I got the pictures I need for that. So I'm headed back to the office now. I still got to figure out what's going on with bacon, I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen, but I hope it's soon. <laughs> I hope it's soon. So, yeah.